Welcome everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at PC Building Simulator, but with a different look. Uh, I have a request from one of my uh, viewers, longtime supporters on the channel. Not pets, this one goes out to you buddy, you asked for it, you got it. So what we're going to do today is build the cheapest, the most inexpensive PC for 2020. So we're going to look into that. The only thing is... There's no operating system included, so you guys might want to add that to the price. Whatever cheap retail online store you can find a copy of Windows 10, then go right ahead. And there's no USB flash drive included as well, so we can put the operating system in there. So that would be another four or five bucks, I guess. Uh, also, the cables come included, so I'm not going to charge... I'm not going to put that price in. So let's see what the cheapest, well, most inexpensive uh, PC build is on PC Building Simulator. Also, I want to mention that uh, there's no cost for thermal paste either. No charge for that. So let's pick out the parts. I have a list. I know the price already, but I am in free build, which doesn't show prices. So we'll do the totals together in the end, okay? So hope you enjoy, guys. Let's go. All right, so let's put that there. Let's open it up. Pretty simple case, guys. Not gonna lie. Oh, it already has a fan. So we can knock off $7 from the fan. Yeah, we just want basic air cooling in here. Nothing too ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing major that's gonna really heat up the system just so you know guys uh, this is a 2020 computer build and you don't get anything without a without an SSD so that's gonna be included in the, the price as well so first things first we're gonna get our motherboard and that is the Mortoni H170M Tech There we go. Next thing that would go on would be the uh, CPU. Whoops, missed the screw. Okay, install. There we go. Again, I mentioned before that there will be no charge for thermal paste. Let's put that now. Next, we could put the RAM, so we're going to put only one stick. For that value, we should go for 4 gigs, because nobody puts 2 gigs in the computer anymore. So we'll go for this one. I'll put that on the complete right. There we go. Alright, so we got our 4 gigabyte memory. We have our CPU. Next thing we can put is the uh, power supply. There it is. That'll do nicely. Let's put on our SSD and our HDD. That would be this one. Actually, we could put it back here. Perfect. Now we'll open up a slot and we'll put in our hard drive, which is going to be Mortoni Easy Store 120. There it is. That's in. The cooler is the, again, Mortoni Thermal 100.
Perfect. Alright, we have to remove this first. Get rid of that. And remove this one. Usually when you take these off, they don't go back in, but thankfully for this game, it gives us the option to do so. Alright, graphics card is in. Let's lock it in. Let's get our cables happening. Try and do a clean installation as much as possible. There we go. That's as good as it's going to get, guys. Alright, let's see if this is going to run. Now, we do need uh, an operating system installed. So let's just make sure we have everything set up. We need to put that as well. Lock her up tight make it look as clean as possible all right so we need the uh, back panel installed doesn't get any more basic than this front panel in usually uh for uh good luck because it's uh bad mojo to put the front panel usually we leave it open uh, when we test our uh, first boot but I closed it up hopefully I'm pretty sure everything is set up right so I'm gonna take the risk right now we need to install the OS Here goes our first boot, guys. We're gonna go into BIOS, installing, formatting. Looking good so far. At least we booted. <laughs> Let's add and remove programs. Let's see. Will it run? This is going to be funny. Um, let's see what temps it's going to give us as well. We'll install OCCT. Install that. We can't overclock the GPU, so I'm not going to put the GPU uh, tuner in there. Now, let's see what benchmarks this is going to give us as well. This is going to be bad, guys, let me tell you. And we'll see what games it can actually run. Uh, system info, we're going to need that as well. And just for shits and giggles, let's get another wallpaper in here. We could have Windows. This is the one I have on my PC, by the way. Both mine and Val's. 
but I really really like this one since it's summertime we'll put this or we can do Grand Canyon let's do Grand Canyon that is nice oh no I'm gonna do puppy puppy and kitten there we go puppy and kitten they're so cute they're adorable Woody Woody all right let's see our system info so we got Intel Celeron running at 28 degrees, not bad. That's good cooling so far. EVGA is running at 32 degrees, our GPU. We're running 50 watts. Uh, power consumption at the moment. And we're doing maximum power draw 250 watts. Case temperature 25 degrees, beautiful. Memory clock speed is set at 2133. Physical memory used 1 gigabyte and physical memory available 4 gigabyte. That's the uh, RAM. So we're using 27% of our memory already. We haven't done anything. That's a pretty high number. And virtual memory committed is zero. Right, now let's see, what can it, uh, actually let's do uh, benchmark scores. Oh my god, look at these frames. <laughs> We're getting 2.5 guys, wow, this is going to take forever to run. Alright, so just to give you a rundown while this is running. This is our total price list so everything totaled up comes to three hundred and ninety dollars what you see here three hundred and ninety dollars if you want to total it up oh why is it for twelve wait a second oh we put thirty five dollars extra for the RAM that's right we got four giga instead of uh, instead of two giga so everything's correct. Yep. $412, guys. For the cheapest build you can get in 2020. And our uh, Time Spy Extreme gives us a total of score of 960. Look at that. So we ran whatever this benchmark could have run at 2.63 frames per second average that's incredible that is incredible at least it ran it didn't crash so that's what you get for four hundred and twelve dollars on PC built simulator in 2020 what can it run so Select the title from the list to see if it'll run on your CPU. Adobe Photoshop. No. Adobe Premiere. No. Battlefield 1. Definitely not. Counter-Strike. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna do it. Dead Stick Bush Flight Simulator. Nope. Deer Hunting Simulator. Ain't gonna do it. How about Doom? Whew. Go to two Euro Truck. <sighs> Let's check out this as well. Fifty one degrees. CPU is maintaining maximum forty one pretty decent temps so far and we're drawing 110 watts off the wall that's pretty good oh what happened did it crash oh it finished cool yep pretty decent temps guys 41 degrees on the CPU temp and 51 degrees on the GPU temp and we were getting 111 watts very very cool so we've run everything 
what I would change would be the uh, graphics card and the CPU. Now, what would I get? Let's see. Let's turn it off. Open it up. Take that out. Open this. The next best thing that could maybe run a few games. That's what we're looking for now. Alright. Let's go to our parts. So I'm seeing the cheapest one which we had put before. Frequency of uh, 2.8. But the one I was looking to get is this one right here. It's four core, four core Skylake. Pretty decent. Let's put that in there. And that brings up the price to 447. That's without the graphics card. So this one costs $165. All right, and the GPU that we're gonna select. So I wonder if the RAM is gonna play a role. So let's get this one. see if that'll make a difference our price went up just a bit 627 it was at 615 I think let's cable it up oh here we go we need to draw power straight to the card now this is serious business now Alright, and I think it was the last two games. Last two or three games. Here we go. GTX 960. That'll run. Runs that. No. So basically we're getting more on the list. That's really cool. So there you guys have it. You got a complete rundown. It was 400 and something dollars for the cheapest build. And if you want to play more games, you just upgrade to a 960 and a Intel 60, i5 6500 and you're all set. So I hope you enjoyed this video. What is the cheapest build and the cheapest build for actually getting to play more games on the board. So I gave you guys two options. There you have it. Here's the list. Let's check it out. Put that. Pack it up. And send it to our friend, not pets. There you go, buddy. Case is all ready. We'll just pack it up and send it over to you. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is our video of what is our cheapest, most inexpensive build, and how you can improve it with just two parts to make sure you get more games playing on it. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Cheers not pets. Thank you for uh, directing me to this type of build. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers everyone. Don't forget share, like, favorite, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.